This story happened in China a good many years ago. But that's just why it's worth hearing before it's forgotten. The Emperor's Palace was the most splendid in the world. And made entirely of the most fragile porcelain. Phew. Silver bells were tied to the rarest flowers so everyone would notice them. The Emperor's garden stretched so far, not even the gardener knew where it ended. Little friendly nightingale. His songs are so simple and joyful, they make even the Emperor's wonderful gardens seem, well, a bit dull, really. Every night, Grandpa, you always say the same thing. Because, child, every night it's true. My quest for inspiration is over at long last. I have it. A poem worthy of our beloved emperor in Japan. A poem that says it all. The emperor of China owns no treasure finer than this, his nightingale's song. There. What do you think? Three whole lines in under eight years. You've excelled yourself, sire. Learned men from all over the world wrote books about the Chinese emperor's magnificent palace and gardens. But the nightingale was placed highest of all. And poets wrote heartfelt odes to its melancholy song. The books went through all the world. And eventually... The Chinese Emperor's Palace is a wonder of the world. Good, yes, good. This book the Emperor of Japan has sent me is most pleasing. Page. Ah, a poem. The Emperor of China owns no treasure finer than this, his nightingale's song. Nightingale? What nightingale? Is there such a thing in my gardens? Well, somebody speak. Now, or I'll have you all trampled on. This so-called... Night Ink Girl has certainly never been introduced here at court. Your fabulousness. Nevertheless, Chamberlain, the Japanese Emperor says I have a treasure I don't know anything about. Page Boy? Slam this book shut to make my displeasure clear. So there. My nightingale will sing for me tonight. Or I will have the whole court trampled on directly after supper. <gasps> and then I will have the whole court trample on you. Ah, uh, a most generous punishment, your gloriousness. But it will not be necessary. I will seek out this fabled night ink gale and present it to you this evening. If it should cost me and all the palace staff our lives. No. Oh, it's no use. 
We've been all over the palace. Oh, that's that then. I'm padding my tunic with yak's wool. No, no. Yeti hair under vests. Four layers. That's what you need to take the edge off one of the Emperor's tramplings. <laughs> and all this because of a non-existent songbird some silly Japanese poet made up. Who ever heard of a nightingale? <laughs> Ridiculous. Absurd. Preposterous. Uh, excuse me. <gasps> <gasps> I said, excuse me. Did you not hear the Chamberlain kitchen maid? He said, Pih. Yes, I heard, but Pih really doesn't mean anything, does it? Doesn't mean anything? Of course it does. Pih means everything. It means we are gentlemen of the court. And you are a peasant kitchen maid. And as such, too lowly to bother speaking to. So be off with you, or else, therefore... <coughs> Keep yourselves. Just thought you wanted to know about the Nightingale, that's all. What? The Nightingale. I know him well. Every night I listen to his lovely song with my grandfather. Little kitchen maid, will you take us to this Nightingale? I might. You were rude to me, though. Even us simple peasant kitchen workers know how to be polite. Ah, oh, then I, uh... Apologise, child. It's uh, been a long day. Now, about this nightingale... They said pip right in my face. Courtiers, trample on each other at once to show you're sorry. What? No, wait! In your special clogs and no padded tunics. Now! Oh, yes, Your Excellency. No. Ah. Oh! My ribs! Oh. Ah. oh, my kidneys! Now, little kitchen maid, the nightingale, please. Lead the way, and your future in this palace will be assured. <laughs> Oh, there's the nightingale now. What a powerful voice for such a tiny creature. Of course, I knew I'd heard its song somewhere before. That's a cow, silly. We've a way to go yet. Now that's a nightingale. How beautiful its song is. Yes, sublime. Like the tinkling of tiny bells. No, those are the frogs. Don't tell me you gentlemen of the court haven't ever been on a walk in the country before. Oh, even I knew that. Uh, yes, and me. Uh, did I say nightingale? <laughs> I meant frogs, of course. 